I would like to ask, and I will now activate my camera, uh, also the, the panel. Hi, Elena, to come back. Um, so all the panelists, all the presenters, because we go into question answering. And mm -hmm. um, we will see what questions are coming in. So I get them here in the chat. That's the reason I need a little bit of time. And there is one huh, that I can really hand over to all the panelists, more or less. It says, um, what happens uh, or what's the outlook of your pilot system? So what happens as this is a research project? What are you planning to do or what will happen on top of your pilots? Maybe we, we go the order that we had in presentation, but backwards. So we start with Katri Casas, Elsa and Pasquale. What will happen with your question answering system? Well, uh, we have a lot of, lot of plans and a lot of next steps uh, in our roadmap. Yeah, yeah, first of all, we are being focused today improving the accuracy of the system because uh, previous of the, to deliver something to our customers, we want to, to be clear about the, the accuracy and the real value for them. And then some of the next steps are regarding to, 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 to ensure this, this uh, quality improvement. And, uh, and regarding that, we have to, to, to internal, inter, internally uh, uh, do some, some, new, new, some improvements, uh, uh, taking into account the different kind of questions that we have that the user can have because it's very different to the strategy to solve a very specific question than a general question that maybe is asking for a definition or general information and it's very different different the, the approach to solve a, a very specific question when you want to know a, a concrete data or, or a concrete value uh, this is one thing uh, second is uh, re regarding the, the the scope of the project we we are international and, and we are uh, putting lots of focus on, on, on LATAM, then introduce new, new jurisdictions, yeah, open in, Ch in Chile, Peru, uh, being able to support our international growth. And, and finally, also uh, regarding the introduce new laws, uh, we have uh, started with the probably the more complex, but it's quite easy to to, to, to do something similar with uh, IP, GDPR, and, and, and even tax that are more concrete, more uh, mm -hmm. uh, compact, uh, and, 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 and with less complexity uh, laws. But all of this should be very valuable for, for our uh, lawyers but, and also our customers. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a very comprehensive answer. Thanks a lot, but gives a lot of insights. Um, yeah, let's go to Christian. So as I said backwards, Cybly, the contract use case, what's the outlook here? Oh, we cannot hear you. Not sure why. Oh. The outlook yeah. here is the same. Um, so what we want to do is to improve the, the quality of the recognition and also adding additional services um, for our use case. Um, we are already started to integrate it to more and more services uh, coming from us, um, making use of different links services for different solutions. Not every time everything is needed but sometimes only the, the, the translation is needed, sometimes only the, the recognition, uh, the entity recognition is needed or something like this. So here we extend it to our existing application and we have a new development where we also want to build on top or in conjunction with the Lynx platform as there it is mainly interest to um, harvest also old information, which is, still on a file system, I would say, and not in a knowledge graph. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Also interesting topics here. Peter, geothermal energy, what comes next? Yes, with this pilot? thank you, Martin. Um, I think for the, uh, for the future, I see two pathways. So on the one hand, we will continue working on the geothermal energy use case together with the industry associations like IGA and EJEC. And uh, one of the, 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 the quick wins, I think, is to see how we can also include uh, other uh, content categories like information on safety and envi envi environmental risks uh, into the, um, the demonstrator. So we can really create a, an enriched environment with uh, relevant um, information. On the other hand, uh, if you look at our strategy, DVGL, we keep on exploring uh, uh, the combination of uh, digitalization and decarbonization. And I, I'm fully confident that there are other use cases where we can use this technology 
to um, to help uh, professionals in the industry to uh, to get better insights in either regulatory information or best practices uh, or uh, historic knowledge um, uh, to 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 gain better insights and make better decisions um, in the, the way forward. So that are the two pathways, uh, Martin. Thank you very much. I mean, we see also climate services rising and the Green Deal that we know that is now happening yeah, yeah. in the European Union. So I think that's the right way to go and also to expand. Thank you very much to the three of you or the four of you. Um, we have time for one. I mean, we're exactly on, on the point, but there's one question. Uh, can this system also be uh, adapted to other domains besides legal? Maybe Elena, would you like to answer? Sure, thank you. Okay, um, I would like to. I would say that uh, most of the of the services uh, were um, could be applied to any other domains. But it's true that for the purposes of, of this project, they have been specifically trained for the legal domain and mm -hmm. and, and the specific uh, uh, subdomains that are represented by our our pilots. So there there would be. I think in most of them there would be the need to adapt them to other other uh, domains but kind of the the building blocks are there i would say absolutely thank you yeah adding a little bit answer by myself so in principle the services are domain um, yeah independent mm -hmm. uh, but you are right we have a legal uh, we have the legal knowledge graph the name says it so a knowledge graph on legal so we have to adapt the knowledge graph and also some services you can imagine today with machine learning they need to be trained on a domain on a topic or named entity recognition things like this so this would mm -hmm. be needed to be adapted but it's possible and also expandable in other languages because that mm -hmm. i think is also an important one good thank you very much once again so thanks also again for uh, for uh, being participants today thanks to the audience for your interest we will share and send out information and slides and videos um, without starting them once again in the coming days and thanks so much to the panelists to the speakers and have a great day and we hope to see you at the next webinar of links then in february bye bye and stay safe and healthy Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye.